Okay, and we're back. Looks like here's another dream of his. <laughs> oh, oh, I keep face. <laughs> Aw. Shadowfish. I had another dream. Mama was there. She gave me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. People always get their favorite food on their birthday. Lots of it, too. You have a birthday, too? Yes. What's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Do you like pancakes? I love pancakes. Me too! Oh my gosh, look at his eyes. They're so cute. <laughs> on my last birthday, I ate ten of them. I'm so full. I didn't eat anything else that day. My mama makes the best pancakes. Some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And some of the neighbors make a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Yeah. Oh, do they share the food with you? <laughs> no. That's not very nice of them. Hi, neighbors. And my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone takes turns doing chores and watching the children, too. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I wonder if they're worried about me. Speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Okay, and, um... Something. Oh, yeah! About the, uh, light bulb and how... You can't. You cannot interact with that. I was thinking after that last part that you know how like the light bulb was out until he grabbed it. It's hey, Shadowfish. There was a lot of names on the scroll back there. I wonder who all those people were. It looks really old. Uh, scroll names. There was. Uh, I don't see anything. Let me check the inventory. No, oh, I don't see anything. Can't do anything with the journal just yet. Um, that light bulb. My friends were joking around calling it an evil light bulb because it like you. It looked like it used his life force to to. It looked like it used his life force to power up. And we're like, oh no, it's the evil light bulb. I'm like, wow, I never actually thought about that. Like the first time I played through, maybe it really is an evil light bulb. You know? We're closing. We're closing in on the end there. Hello. Wait. Before you pass, you must allow me to examine your inventory. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting book you have here. Well, nothing illegal, but... Oh, you have a seed. It's the duty of the light bearer to regrow the plant... Raise of the plants. Do you understand the procedure? Um... Explain it to me for the audience. Take the seeds to the plot north of the tower. Bury this, bury it in the soil there. I hope she grows this time. The other seeds were all planted before the sun was extinguished. Other seeds? No, it can't go past you, but there's nothing over there. Okay. Let's do that first. Let's go look for the north. Here, but we'll look. We're gonna just in the sounds of uh, each time, and it should be really good this time. Hopefully, you can still hear me because I was keeping my microphone volume up, but turning the game volume down. Who the hell are you supposed to be? Well, out with it. My name is Nico, and I'm trying to reach the spire. All right, you got that light bulb. Listen, you're just some tool the world will use to heal itself. If you want my help, you need to help me first. Understand? Find me a book I've never seen before. That's the deal. Okay. Then you know what? We do have a book. So. What? What is this old thing? Huh? It's written in an ancient language. Guess you are useful. Now go make yourself even more useful. Leave me alone while I translate. I hope you after I'm done with the tower after I'm done. It's not like I want to die after all. Bother the people in the cafe southeast of here. And you can't interact with any of these bookshelves. I've tried before, but like, you know. What do you think here? I with this table, I don't think. Yeah. He has a very firm grip on that light bulb. I mean, imagine if he tripped and he's like, 
Oops. <laughs> there goes your son. I saw my window. I trip easily on nothing. <laughs> oh, and here's a bed in case, like, for example, you needed to save it up. And this looks north, so let's see if this is the plot first for the plan. Uh, yes. First, let's just click on my C voice. Says. It's a small plot of dirt here. Okay, now we have a seed. So that person said to bury the seed here. It's hard to imagine it will grow into a person. Uh, and we have some miracle water. It's said to make plants grow very quickly. I'll just want to be safe and pour this on it. Please grow, little plant. Look at his expressions. They're the cutest thing ever. Nico is the cutest thing about this game, I swear. I don't think I've ever seen a cuter game character. Oh, I love this character. He's so cute. Like that face! I just want to pinch his cheeks. Okay. They said south... Okay. They said southeast is the cafe where she said. So we'll just, um... Yeah, we'll keep looking around. Obviously you can't go those ways because... Excuse me. I'd like to eat something, but I don't have any money. Well, you're in luck. There's always a special for the low light bearer at the low price of free. What can I get you? Do you have do you have pancakes? I do. <gasps> pancakes. <laughs> Take a seat and I'll fry some up for you. I'll never get over his expression right there. These pancakes are so good. And I'm really hungry. Thank you so much. But they aren't as good as Mama's. Sorry, mister. Mama always picked the nuts. We picked in the uh, pancake goop. She always made them when I was feeling sad. Or lonely. Oh, Mama. I really miss my Mama. Hey, it's okay. I'm sure you'll see her again after you replace the sun. Want some more pancakes? Okay. Thank you. Hang in there. You can do it. Okay. And I'll discuss a little bit after the ending. I'm gonna talk about the other ending a little bit. That I got the first time. And discuss my thoughts about it. Assuming I don't derp up and completely forget. <laughs> I want to do that. Okay, and there's, you know, there's nothing here. There's not even interactive. I like the soundtrack. Okay, so we, you know, there's no place else really to go. And did I come from here? Oh yeah. Um, I need to go here. There's no place else to go really. So we're gonna go back and check on a journal. I'm finished. Definitely gonna want to take a look at this. There is an entity few know about in this world. It has a habit of silencing those aware of it. I'm one of the few still alive. This being is somehow connected to the world. Perhaps it is the spirit of the world. Just as the light within our world fluctuates, so does the temperament of this being. As the light is now fading, the entity is now seeking death. Death not to itself, but to our entire world. We must, of course, stop it. When our God and our Savior arrived, the entity will attempt to manipulate them into shattering the light bulb at the top of the spire. Our God is the only thing this entity can communicate with. It is through them that the Savior will be tricked. The entity must have been the one who makes the pop ups, you know, the pop ups come on the screen helping us out before. Shattering the light bulb will return the savior to their world, leaving ours to crumble. But as far as we know, this is the only way for the savior to return home. What do we do in a situation like this? Tell the truth, causing the savior to leave? Lie, only to have the entity reveal the truth? We can only hope that they will have enough respect for the world they've seen, when standing at the top of the spire and judging our fates. I don't want this to end this world. 
Is that what will happen if I leave? My honesty with you better pay off, kid. Don't kill us. To enter the tower is to leave at the start. That's what the book said. Don't know what that means. One last thing. Take this. Bye. Keep that as a reminder that there are people who depend on you. Even me. So don't screw up. Please. Anything else you want to say? Okay. I'm like a slow die. Okay, and we press shift and it gets that rid of the item. Oh. Oh, another pop-up. I've had enough of this world. Haven't you? Either that light bulb will be destroyed or Nico will be killed. I'll make sure you never reach the end. Quit now and save yourself the effort. But if we quit now, Nico will die. Either way. What's going on? I hear a humming sound in my pocket. Okay, so... Some of these items is buzzing. Oh yeah, you can look in the description. I never noticed this before. I just kind of guessed. It's buzzing. Okay, so look, it's it's a maze. Um, if we go the wrong way, like see it's glowing, but if we go this way, for example, you just end up right back here. So you need to figure out where it's glowing. I didn't realize this at first. I was kind of guessing. So I don't know if it is. Yeah, and it, it, the light bulb. Uh, the light bulb. <laughs> the die will show you the way. The die went quiet. So we don't need the the die anymore. Oh, George was her name. Oh, the feather's now buzzing, so... It'll do the same exact thing. So, as the entity was saying, and the book, and, the, and George, the only way for Nico to go home is the shattered light bulb. But, that will kill... Oh, yeah, oops. Destroying the light bulb will kill everyone in this world. But it will save Nico. But if we save... Nico will die. You know, assuming you believe what the entity says. At the very least, Nico won't be able to go home, right? If that's the only way to go home is to share my bulb. So what do you do? I mean, do you want to save this cute little kid or this whole world that some people that you run into are saying that even if you replace the sun, the world's going to die anyway. There's no saving it. It's been breaking down before the sun even went out. No way. items for interacting? No. Now is not the time to watch the TV. It won't turn on. To enter the tower is to leave at the start. This bed is where I started in the world. Okay, I'm gonna let you know right now. Um, this is gonna be the last part because this is close to the ending. And before I get to the end, I'm gonna expand the screen the view that you're seeing to my entire desktop. The friend who recommended this game to me told me to do that. I haven't seen this ending. And she says, if I don't do that, you all are going to miss out. I don't know what that is. I'm just letting you know. When that happens, I'm going to expand the screen. This bed is where I started in this world. Maybe it will be where I leave, too. It's, she did say the tower was at the start or something like that. <laughs> You're still planning on saving the world, aren't you? The world is suffering. If Nico smashes the light bulb and leaves it, it will be like waking up from a bad dream. Nico will be miserable in this world. You do care about Nico, don't you? Okay, I'm gonna expand it right here. So, um, I apologize, but just, uh, bear with me. Oh, okay. So this is where the sun belongs. Okay, the ending I chose last time, I saved the world. Um, because I thought... 
Uh, so this is where the sun belongs. So Charles said that the only way for me to go home was to shatter the light bulb. But then, everyone here will... I, I can't decide. Shadowfish, what should I do? What's the right thing to do? Last time I saved the world. This time, I'm gonna tell you to return home. I trust your judgment, Shadowfish. Shadowfish? What happened? It's very dark in here. Oh! I can see a light at the end of the passage! I think I hear a voice too! <gasps> Mama? I can hear her calling me! All I need to do is pass through this wall. I finally be home again. Shadowfish, I guess. I guess this is goodbye. Thank you for everything. Oh, that's what she meant by Oh, she they left my desktop. That's what my friend meant. He wants out of the screen. Ah. That's so cute. Okay. So what happened the last time that you would have to play and save for yourself? If you don't want to hear what happened last time, um, maybe skip a few minutes ahead. What happened last time was you shut a light bulb and you see, basically it's just a recap of everyone you meant looking up and seeing the sun. And, but then you don't see Nico. And my friend was telling me, when I told her I was going to do this ending, um, that when we were discussing the evil light bulb, that maybe, you know, think about it. Oh, the savior is gone. All hope for the world is lost. And that's it. Um, you don't see, so, you know, the light bulb, evil light bulb. Maybe when you put the light bulb on a tower, it, in order to light up, it requires Nico's life force. And I guess in order to stay lit up completely I, I guess maybe it kills Nico you don't see that happen and you don't know what happens you just see him put the light bulb on you see some flashes of faces and the sun up in the sky and that's it um I didn't want Nico to die this time and I wanted him to go home <laughs> I couldn't help it uh I think that's all I, want. I feel like there was something else I wanted to discuss but you know <sighs> I love this game a lot. It's a very simple kind of game, but it's so cute and it interacts with your computer in a not harmful way, I guarantee you. Um, I recommend you give it a shot. See the other ending for yourself, perhaps. Maybe let some other Let's Players know about it and share it. It's a great game. Uh, thank you for sticking with me this long. 